Honorable Speaker, I want to move that uh, you allow this House to rise for a minute of silence in honor of the late Honorable Member for Bungoma South, Lawrence Sifuna. Honorable members, let us rise in honor of our departed colleague, the late Honorable Lawrence Simiu Sifuna. Minute of silence. May the soul of the Honorable Lawrence Simiu Sifuna rest in peace. Thank you. Next order. Before the, we go to the next order, allow me to recognize the following delegation from the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Honorable members, I wish to introduce to you a delegation of 16 executives from the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Honorable members, they are on a visit to the National Assembly to pay a courtesy call to the member for Bumula, the Honorable Jack Wamboka MP. On my own behalf and that of the National Assembly, I wish to wish them fruitful engagements. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's uh, move to the next order. You had a point of order? Okay, let's go to your point of order before the next order. Madam Speaker, I had intended to raise this point of order much earlier, uh, but all the same. I think this is an issue that requires the attention of the whole house. It's an extremely important issue, Madam Speaker, and I seek your guidance. And I know you are sh for sure able to give guidance on this matter. I have got no doubt whatsoever. Madam Speaker, we are now in the sixth month of the financial year 2023-2024. As we speak, Madam Speaker, since this House appropriated funds to the NGCDF board for disbursement to respective CD NGCDF committees, not a single cent has hit the accounts, the bank accounts of the NGCDF committees. And GAF, definitely. Madam Speaker, I rise to seek your guidance in the sense that this House, without necessarily uh, anticipating debate, this House is poised to proceed on a long recess, very long recess, two months and above from this Thursday. Yet, Madam Speaker, we know that school children are opening schools in the first week of January. Much more important is that those who start their KCP exams are joining Form 1 in that same period. When I'm speaker without bursary, which is provided for within the NGCDF framework, and GAF, more than three quarters of these children will not go back to school. That is an issue that should capture the attention of the whole nation. It's an issue that is so serious that should warrant this house taking a moment to ponder over it. In fact, it's an issue that would necessitate this house taking drastic measures. We have not been told 
yet what is the what is the justification for the national treasury not releasing the funds which is, which is earmarked for the NGCDF to the NGCDF board we are not aware and GAF of course when I, when I refer to NGCDF just, just understand that I also mean GAF because the two go hand in hand the two are like Siamese twins Madam Speaker therefore it behoves us as a house to take action I want to ask, ask you to compel first and foremost the chairperson of the N NGCDF committee my good friend the Honorable Musa Serma to compel my good friend the leader of majority party the Honorable Kimani Ichungwa and to compel the national the CS national treasury to come forth and inform the house when are we going are we expecting the disbursements of NGCD at least to take care of the bursary component before we proceed on recess yes. it's a matter that cannot be dealt with after the recess has started it's an issue that must be dispensed with now and be at least before Thursday now speaker in fact if I am to hear if I'm hearing my colleagues well it's an issue you think must be dealt with now now and therefore it must, if it must be dealt with now it would mean therefore madam speaker that uh, the house might not transact in the, any other business in my view the, the house might not be in a position to transact any other business I, I think so the house would be in order to, to decline to transact any other business in, in sympathy in expressing a sympathy with the thousands of children of poor Kenyans out there the children of hustlers madam speaker who are suffering out there not knowing how they'll go back to school when, when schools open in January I want to plead with you and, and this is a very serious speaker and I will be asking my colleagues once we have and I want to also ask you to allow our, our hundred members to contribute to this issue and after which then we can uh, go and also chat out there <laughs> so that we chat more freely we chat more freely yes in the corridors <laughs> in the corridors thank you madam speaker thank you um, i think i'll give a chance to majority leader and also to the ngcdf 